Using your stethoscope over the heart, you will listen to sounds and murmurs. First, we have to know sounds. We are listening to first heart sound and second heart sound and look for additional heart sounds like S3, like S4. No more heart sounds. Plus S3. No more heart sounds plus S4. Okay, now we will put our stethoscope over the abix. Abix is a zone of mitral area. We will listen to first heart sounds. First heart sounds produced by closure of mitral valve. Now, if we found a murmur, we have to think of three types of murmur over the mitral area. First, mitral gear or mitral snoses or puts. I mean double mitral. If it mitral gears, we will listen to muffled per sound, band systolic murmur. If it's murmur mitral snoses, then you will listen to S2, opening snap, mid-diastolic murmur, with pre-systolic accentuation. U is S2. Du is opening snap. R is mid-diastolic. Pre-systolic accentuation. Look it. That's what's called mitral stenosis murmur. The last murmur is double mitral. Combination between mitral regurg and mitral stenosis together. Listen carefully. That's what is called double mitral with rumbling. So, what is a double mitral without trembling. It is like mitral gauge but appearing of first sound on mitral gauge murmur convert it into double mitral. Listen carefully. Mitral gauge was double mitral is mitral valve laps. Mitral verb laps with mitral gauge. Now we will move our stethoscope on aortic area. We will listen to S2. We will look for murmurs. Is it systolic or diastolic? If diastolic, we will hear its aortic regurg. If it's systolic, we will listen to aortic stenosis. Be careful with ejection click. If it systolic and diastolic, we are dealing with double aortic lesion. VSD Dayton ductus arteriosus.